Hello, my beautiful darling cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. I do have um, a Virgo and Leo only channel. The links to those are below. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals, okay? Hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below. If you don't mind winning any one of those things, you could hashtag the word all, okay? Um, if you're looking to start a YouTube channel or learning how to, you know, want to learn how to read tarot, you can check out my tarot tutorial. It's about two and a half hours to three hours long. Um, the link for that is below. If you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, the link for that is below. As of right now, Spirit Shield Tarot and Spirit Shield Oracle are buy one, get one free, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. All right, my loves, so let's go ahead and get popping and let's see what we have going on from my Cancer baby. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. Oh, wow. So, Cancer, we've got Feminine. We have Obsessed. We've got Marriage. We've got Narcissist under the deck. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. We've got within a few weeks. We have only choice. And we've got an Earth sign. Okay. Okay, so Cancer, there is possibly an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus, or they have this very strong in their chart, okay? I feel like this person decided to treat you like an option, or they decided to take some time to contemplate who or what they wanted. This is a very narcissistic person that maybe spent a lot of time love bombing you, gaslighting you, manipulating you. Um, you know, the fact that you were so easily, you were so easy to play with and toy with fed this person's ego. Do you understand? They loved the fact that you were addicted to them. Do you see what I'm saying? I feel like this connection came to an end. You guys separated, okay? And I feel that within the next few weeks, this narcissistic energy is going to come to realize that you are what they want and need because no one else compares to you. But let me tell you also what that means. When they say no one else compares to you, no one else feeds their ego like you do. Do you understand what I'm saying? They are going to pop up unexpectedly, okay, with a big surprise. This person's coming back with a big, uh, with a big gift, okay? It's going to hit you really, really hard, Cancer, because this is someone that you loved a lot, this is someone that, this is for you, this is the person that like you loved so much that it cost you your self-love, your self-respect. I mean, this is the person that like, you know, you might say the person that got away or the person that you just couldn't get to love you back maybe. Do you understand? But Cancer, this person is like the reason why they're choosing you above all others is because nobody gives this narcissist the fix that you give them. 
And when I say fix cancer, this is what I mean. A drug addict, okay? A drug. So I had a drug habit in my early 20s, so I'm, I'm going to use this as an example, okay? I tried multiple drugs when I was very, very young, okay? And only one drug was above all others, right? Okay? For a narcissist, the person that feeds their ego the most, the person that is willing to give up their self-love, self-respect, self-worth, you know, like you just destroyed yourself in the name of love for this narcissist. Like you love them more than you loved yourself. And they, that high that they felt off of your love is uncomparable to anything else that they've ever felt. So just as you were addicted to them, okay? Because a trauma bond is basically, in layman's terms, being addicted to a human being, okay? This narcissist was just as addicted to you as you were to them. There was a separation that took place here, okay? This person's been gone for a minute. But they're gonna they're about to make a really big entrance here, Cancer, because that nothing else compares to you. Tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Cancer, please. Six of Cups and the Hanged Man. This person could be a Pisces. Tell me about Cancer, please. The star card and the tower. They could be an Aquarius or an Aries. Maybe a Scorpio. Tell me about Cancer, please. We've got Temperance here. They could be a Sagittarius. Strong Sag energy. Ace of Pentacles and the Judgment card. So Cancer, this is an ex that, like I said, needed to take some time and that light bulb has gone off. That light bulb has gone off. And let me tell you something, that even this narcissist is a little shocked over the fact that, you know, they actually want to come back and heal this because this narcissist has already discarded you. And generally, once a narcissist gets to that point where they discard you, they usually don't come back after that discarding phase. Do you understand? But with the Ace of Pentacles, Temperance, and Judgment Cancer, this person is going to come back and actually apologize. Ace of Pentacles, they could be giving a very big gift you know, for some of you, it could be an engagement ring. For others of you, because I'm seeing marriage here. We've got feminine, obsessed, and marriage. All of a sudden, this is a narcissist that is obsessed about marriage. All of a sudden, this narcissist, I forgot about those oracle cards that I had initially pulled out. This person is now obsessed with marriage. For some of you, it could very well be a ring. With the world card and the knight of pentacles here, Cancer, this is someone that does want to come back and get serious. But with the three of swords and the ten of swords and the devil, Cancer, make no mistake, it's not over. It's not over. This person does plan on eventually, like with the ten of the ten of cups here and the king of swords. Okay, this is the this this is what their plan is, Cancer. Okay, <clears throat> with the ten of cups, they want to have a happy life with you. They want your love. They want the good times. But make no mistake that they still very much plan on hurting you because that's that's what they're addicted to. They're addicted to hurting you and you're addicted to getting hurt by them and then the reconciliation process. With the Eight of Wands here and the Seven of Swords Cancer, make no mistake, and the Emperor here, make no mistake, this person is being honest about wanting to come in and get serious with you, but at the same time, it's not going to always be this Ten of Cups energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not always going to be the happy, lovey-dovey, you know, you'll get that when they feel like giving it to you. 
Do you understand? Tell me about the Six of Cups here for Cancer and the Seven of Swords. This ex is a liar, a cheater, a user. They take advantage. They're a narcissist. Tell me about the Hanged Man and the Page of Swords. But they are being honest when they say no one compares to you. No one compares to you. With the Two of Swords, I don't want anyone else but you. With the Star card and the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like you're the only one for me. But why are you the only one for them, Cancer? Because of what you're... The, the, in, lame, in other words, the shit that you will eat because you loved this person, no one else is going to eat it. No one else is going to eat it. Tell me about the Tower. And the King of Cups. It's going to be a very shocking, shocking res uh, revelation for this narcissist when they realize that they are actually just as addicted to you and possibly, dare I say, in their own very strange way, in love with you. Okay? With the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles with the Six of Cups here, Cancer, this is an X that's going to come back. With the Five of Cups, they're going to be very apologetic, okay? They're going to be very apologetic. But make no mistake, Cancer, that as soon as this person gets your forgiveness and things calm down and you feel safe with the Eight of Cups and the Devil card and the Knight of Wands, this person will walk away from you. They will go back into their toxic ways. They will cheat on you. Okay, they will cheat on you. But they'll always come back. Okay, the, the trauma bond will continue with the moon card, the two of pentacles and the world card cancer. When this person comes back, you don't know whether you should trust it or not. You can't really see clearly in your mind's eye when it comes down to this person. It's almost like with the five of swords here, this person scrambles up your intuition. They scramble your thoughts. They scramble your heart. You can't think logically when this person is in your energy, okay? With the nine of pentacles here, Cancer, you are strong, single, abundant. You got everything going for you. And, and, and uh, Cancer, this emperor energy is coming back with the three of cups to reconcile. And, you know, it, it, it's going to be that, that on and off crazy cycle. Okay. I mean, that's just the way it's going to be. It's going to be that on and off crazy cycle. It's going to be one of those toxic connections. I mean, and I do have to say we have the emperor and the empress here. So cancer right next to the wheel of fortune, I have to keep it real with you. This could be a twin flame. This could be a strong soulmate, a past life soulmate. But, you know, especially it feels more like a twin flame journey where someone here hasn't grown up or ascended. Um, you know, so do I think that you guys are going to ascend in this lifetime as of this reading? That's a resounding no, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? That is a resounding no. Um, you know, page of cups here, the sun card, the hierophant. Cancer, this person's going to tell you they love you. This person's going to tell you they want to heal your heart. This person's going to propose marriage. This person's going to want to move in. This person with the justice card and the king of pentacles is going to tell you they'll never cheat on you. They'll never hurt you. They'll never cause you pain again. Do you see what I'm saying? Nine of swords and the four of swords and the four of pentacles. They don't want to let you go. They want to heal your heart. They want to make you their empress. For some of you, this person may even want to have a child. They may want to get pregnant right away. You know, tell me about this Ten of Cups, please. And the Three of Pentacles. They're, they're going to do all the right things, Cancer. They're going to say all the right things. Put in the work. Build a solid foundation. Talk about a loving future. Knight of Cups. This person's going to take you out. Romance you. Smooze you. You're going to be like on cloud nine, okay? The King of Swords and the Ten of Wands. This person's plan though, Cancer, with the King of Swords and the Ten of Wands is to do this until, you know, they get bored or tired or they've had enough. And with the Eight of Swords, you know, you're kind of stuck on them. 
you're, you're so high on their love that with the five of pentacles here, when they disappear with the seven of cups, you're kind of, you know, they're going to disappear. Six of pentacles, seven of cups. They're going to start breadcrumbing you, giving their attention to other things. You know, the knight of swords, the nine of wands, they're going to block you. They're going to run off. They're going to do all the things they did before, but with temperance and the eight of wands, they will always come back home. They will always talk to you. There will always be forgiveness. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, you know, the full card, the five of wands, you'll yell, you'll scream, whatever the case may be. But Cancer, I got to be honest with you, with the ten of pentacles and the six of wands, you're going to have a ten of cups, a ten of pentacles with this person. You're going to have an abundant life with this person, but at the same time, it will be very toxic and tormented. Okay. You know, you're going to, you're going to manifest the successful life with this person, but it will be very toxic and tormented and you will be addicted to them and they will be addicted to you. And this is happening because you guys have a very strong soul contract. Again, it feels very much like a twin flame journey that it's not even close to reaching ascension okay every once in a while we get these twin flame readings where everything is ends really beautifully and that's because you guys have spent multiple lifetimes together growing maturing do you see what i'm saying this might be very new maybe i don't know but i mean this is <sighs> cancer i don't know what to tell you it, it's almost like it's going to be really, really good and really, really bad all at the same time. Okay. All right, guys. I love you all so very much. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you guys soon. Take care, my darlings.